programming knowledge. In our previous video, we saw that how to create and drop a database. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a table. So first of all, you need to open your terminal or command prompt. Just write PSQL. Now let us see which are the databases present in our system. Write backslash L. Here you can see we have a test database and we are going to use that one. So for connect to the test database, write backslash C, then name of the database. Semicolon. Now we are connected to the database test. Now we need to create a table which present in this test database. So the command is create table, then name of the table. Uh, let's say employee. So now brackets, small brackets. In small brackets, uh, we provide the name of the columns and their respective data types. Now there are various data types available in Postgres SQL that you can use. Like if you want to use numbers, then you can use integer, big int, small int, float, real. If you want to store character, then you can use care, where care, and you can also use text for long text. So if you want to know about, uh, if you want to know more about um, data types, then you can go to the documentation of PostgreSQL. So let us say first column is name, and I want data type where care of length ten. Ten is the length of the name column. Then I use ID and ID int. Okay. Now the most important thing in the table is primary key. I define ID as my primary key for the employee table. Now what is the primary key? Well, we we will discuss more about primary key in our later videos. But for now. For the sake of convenience, you just need to know that every table must have a primary key, a column defined as a primary key, so that that column can uniquely identify a table. So ID are unique for all the employees. So I uh, choose ID as my primary key. So right column and primary key then id name of the column that you want to set as primary key brackets close okay our table is created so how we can see the, this table so write backslash and d here you can see employee table is created here you can also see this is called schema which is public we will discuss more about schema in our later videos so stay tuned for that now if we want to know the structure of our table then simply write backslash b the name of the table Here you can see our employee table has two column, name and ID, and this is the respective data types. Integer and where can. So close this. Now we can start with PG admin. Okay. Now just refresh it. in test, in schema, in public schema, tables. This is the table employee. So let us create one more table in this 
test database so another query tool create table now name of the table let's say student a student has roll number and the data type of this roll number will be int and a student also has name a name can be where care of time now roll number will be a primary key Execute just refresh here, and you can see in tables we have student table. Okay, here you can expand this and columns, roll number, and name. Now, if, if you want to release this table then write drop table the name of the table just refresh it and you can see stone table has been deleted so this is how you can create a table and drop a table so thanks for watching it